no, no. Good morning, good morning. That's not Hudson. Let's keep looking, let's keep looking. We're driving around this neighborhood. That before we uh, we move into the mansion, we were looking at mansions in another neighborhood. And that's how we visualize. <coughs> they're not like big mansions, but they're like maybe $2 million mansions. Mini mansions, I would say, right? look. And the Hudson, Hudson likes to uh, see their building. Hudson likes to um, to look at the mansions. I don't know why he just likes to. So I come and look. I'm always looking at better. But uh, but this but this was an exercise actually how before we moved to the mansion I was like looking at smelling uh, like this. you know mansions going inside and looking at them I'll and visualizing them and <coughs> actually this I, was the one the that we liked this one was the one that we liked it was huge I mean it looked huge. It look huge. Inside is really big. It was 2.1 million. Now we got like everyone lives there now. <laughs> I think there's like 10 people living in there, man. Maybe they're they're splitting the the mortgage. <laughs> like Latinos, like go, us. Go, we have 10 people in one place and we split the mortgage. But anyways, 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 um, cool. I wanted to do a quick video while I'm doing my my regular drive around the mansions and and start looking at how can I make more money, you know? How can I make more money? I'm always aware and looking and and seeing what the billionaires do. There's another billionaire actually in the neighborhood that works with um, Shaquille O'Neal. They have businesses together. And this guy actually uh, started mobile pay. The mobile pay technology he patented and all the banks use, use his technology, you know? And uh, he also, he also uh, cre <coughs> created the brand on Walmart uh, for food. I don't know what's the name. Uh, I don't remember the name, but uh, the- this guy that was trying to, um, hey, no, no. Yeah, go. he's trying to sell me the, no. oh, you want to go to other houses? Okay, sorry, sorry. He wants to go to other houses. The, 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 um, the guy who's trying to sell me the, um, the new Cadillac that came to the house, he, he actually has sold cars go. to Shaquille and, and, and this billionaire. This billionaire buys like, he says 30 cars a year and he gives them away. He's given like Bentleys to uh, Shaquille O'Neal and stuff like that. So when I talk to those kind of people, I feel so broke. I feel I haven't done anything yet, which is good. Without with, without appreciating and, and, and enjoying everything that I have accomplished, obviously. Cause that's key. That's key. You, you 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 might feel that you're broke, but you should always appreciate every little thing that you have accomplished. You know, so you keep having more. But anyways, uh, we already created a project that we can potentially make hundreds of millions of dollars if done right. <coughs> but never at a at a billion levels yet something will come up but anyways the difference between successful people and very successful people is that very successful people say no to almost everything okay and I'm gonna give you an example I get pitched things to do ideas 
every day, every day. And I say no to almost everything because I'm very focused on, on my craft, on what I do, on my vision. And, and, and you have to say no to most of the things if you want to be successful, you know, at your, you know, your whatever thing that, that you're doing, that it's working, you know? And I notice there are the other kind of people who are always saying yes to everybody because they want to please everyone and then they never please themselves. And in fact, I talked to a, an old friend yesterday and was trying to help me make a billion dollars with an idea. And I automatically, I knew I was gonna say no because I'm focused on my stuff, you know? And at the end I said, hey, if you have so many billion dollars and great ideas, why don't you focus on making money yourself? You're helping everyone, but you don't help yourself. And this is something that we forget to do, you know? We wanna help everyone. But the only way you can help people is by helping yourself first. And the only way you can help yourself first it is if you really focus on your success. Focus on your success, even if it's going to be something that people are gonna say, hey, you're selfish, you know, you're only doing it with yourself, you don't talk to us anymore. And it happened to me, a lot of, all my family, you know, not all my family, but a lot of people inside my family, they thought I was being crazy. I was being selfish. I was just being someone who cares about money and all, all he cares is money. And I was trying just to crack the code so at some point I can help a lot of people. And now I'm more chill. Now, you know, I answer calls, I visit all friends. I'm enjoying more because <clears throat> I already have the path. I already built it. I already sacrificed. I already eliminated the friends. I already stopped talking to people. I already stopped going to the clubs. I already stopped, you know, uh, uh, participating in drama. I already did that. And now, oh, I found the way. Now I can help people. Now I can help people. And uh, because I already sacrificed my life, pretty much, you know? So, what I'm trying to say is the only way you can find success and become very successful is if you learn how to say no to most people. You have to say no. Hey, you wanna go to the club? No, <laughs> I'm busy. <laughs> I'm busy, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get the campaign ready and and I want to wake up next morning with full of energy. Hey, there's new other uh, new strategy, bro. No, um, I cannot until I get this one to work. Hey, you know, uh, you know, let's 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 let's, let's do this now. <laughs> so, so um, that's it, guys. Learn to say no, learn to say no. Focus on your magic list. That's what I create my magic list. Is the things that make me happy. The things that are gonna create actually money. And once I finish with all of them, if I have time, I'm going to do something totally non-business related. Pascale, you need an LLC in United States. Yes, I might be able to. I might be able to connect you to a company in United States. So send me a message in private and send me your email. Pascale, Pascale from France. I love my French amigos. My French amigos. They are warriors. They want to be millionaires. 
And on a side note, you know, I, I uh, the past two days I did uh, uh, like 50 grand on a $150 investment, $150 investment on on a on a rich traffic source that nobody's doing. But I cannot tell you. That's a, those are my secrets that I have to keep. Some stuff you share, some stuff you keep for yourself. But it's there, it's possible. But remember, you wanna make a lot of money, you wanna work with the right people. The right people. The people that can pay you, like Pascale. Pascale! She's the right people, right? That's why I'm gonna help her. She's my amiga. Anyways, guys, I gotta go feed the kids. And I'm gonna enjoy this beautiful, yeah, 70 degrees, baby. The window is open, enjoying the views. Enjoying the views. I can't read and I just saw this. What is your business? What is my business? I am a professional drug dealer. I bring it from Colombia. That's my business. You're right, Daddy. Oh, <laughs> he said you're right, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pascal said, yes, yo soy tu amiga. <laughs> Anyways, hope you enjoy the joke. If you want to know what business I am in, you have to research. You have to research. Go through my videos. But anyways, have an amazing day, guys. It's Saturday. Enjoy your day because I'm enjoying. I'm going to the park and then I'm going to the fair. And then I'm going to keep enjoying because I already sacrificed most of my life. Four years of my life I sacrificed. No friends, no parties, nothing. Now I'm enjoying, baby. I'm going to Vegas next week. From Wednesday to, to Monday, baby. And then I'm going to take my wife to Spain and Italy. And then I'm going to go to Russia. Hopefully to go the, to see the World Cup. And one more time. Russia. One more time. I'm enjoying now, baby. I already paid the price. I already paid the price, baby. Now I'm gonna enjoy because life is about to enjoy. Actually, I had a epiphany, you know? Last two weeks, I almost died, okay? I felt like dying. I, I felt I was gonna die. And I had an epiphany and I was like, dude, you haven't enjoyed anything. You know, all you do is think about money and you don't enjoy the, your kids and your wife and your mansion and, and the drives. You, you enjoy it, but you're not present. You're always thinking about the next deal. And then I decided that I'm going to enjoy. I decided I'm going to be present. I decided that every minute counts. I decided that this is the only life we have. So now I'm fully, 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 fully aware. Ah, it feels so good to be outside. I remember, I remember back in the day when I was bad years ago, 2007. And I remember that uh, 
the 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 the, the judge um, gave gave me uh, six months of going to jail every weekend, right? Six months, and um, and when I've been in jail for three days, and I will get out. I will appreciate everything. The food, the sun, the flowers. Because I didn't have freedom, okay? I was, I was locked up. And, um, and it wasn't like I didn't steal or anything. It was like, I was, I I was just an alcoholic back then. And I was driving drunk or something. And uh, and the city that I used to live, they they obviously was very legal to do that. And um, and that's how I feel now. That's how I feel now. After after the flu was very very strong, I feel like dying. I had this epiphany, and I decided I want to enjoy life. I'm gonna make money, but at the same time, I'm gonna enjoy every minute of it. I'm gonna enjoy my kids because I saw this guy too, uh, uh, Mark uh, Hoverson. Mark Hoverson, who who was this legend in the in in the make money business, you know, business from home. Amar Hoverson now has uh, cancer, uh-huh. and and he's so sad that his kids are playing um, uh, football, and he he's so weak that he cannot help, he cannot play with the kids, and that's something that um, that made me think, you know, yeah, you you make all this money, but are you even present? Are you enjoying your what you have? Are you appreciating? Are you appreciating, you know, every minute? I remember, you know, when I was broke, I was appreciating more. <laughs> so yes, go after your dreams, make a lot of money, but never forget of being grateful of little things like you can hug your kids, you can kiss them, you can take them to the park, and you can see them play soccer, and you can go on a walk. Just the little things. The little things. But money is important. Don't forget that. Don't, don't use this as, as oh yeah, money is not important. Let's just be happy. No, no. Let's make money and be happy. <laughs> you know? Let's make money and be happy. Because when you have so much time that you can do all the cool things, but you don't have any money, then the problems happen, you know? And uh, so work on both. I don't wanna be, I don't wanna be like those people that all they think is just the next move, the next move, the next move, and they never enjoy the present, that which is all we have. So think about it. Think about it. And remember, you, you, have to, you have to say no. You have to help yourself first. And then you can enjoy nature like I'm enjoying now. Have an amazing day, guys. Enjoy your Saturday and love, love, hug and love your kids and, and wife. Peace.